Our next chef comes to us from G. Michael's Bistro and Bar, where he's been cooking up unique seasonal dishes for more than 10 years using only the freshest quality ingredients. Please welcome Chef David Tetzloff. David. Good to see you again. David's a great friend of chefs in the city, and folks, if you thought that we had a little fat before with the boar and the bacon and everything, we've got netting this time around. Oh yeah, we've got fat of all shapes and sizes in this dish. It's a rabbit roulade. We're really excited about it. David, let's go. Thank you, sir. Well, good evening, folks, and uh, I'd like to thank WSU for having me here again. Tonight we're doing rabbit. As with every other chef here, we're trying to focus on the local products available here in central Ohio. Our rabbit's Amish raised and comes from Sullivan, Ohio, about an hour and a half north of here, from Briarwood Valley Farm. So it's another local option you can use besides the beef and the pork that's raised here uh, right in the central Ohio area. What we're going to do is we're going to make a rabbit roulade, and ideally you can get your butcher to clean the rabbit for you, but if you can, it cleans very much like chicken. And the rabbit, you just take, you'll take the legs off. We save the legs to make the stuffing, which we'll use a little bit later and then we make a stock out of our bones. So our stuffing ingredients include pistachios, some bacon, uh, a little bit of onion, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, and then a little bit of cream and egg to kind of hold it together. So you get your rabbit laid out in front of you just like this, and it's a pretty simple, pretty simple process. And you want to get this nice and filled up pretty well so you have a healthy portion. And what you do is you just wrap that up tight and that's your first step of the game of doing your, doing your rabbit roulade, okay? So from there, we want to bring in, as Bill said, we have a new, a new and different fat tonight. We have some call fat. Call fat uh, comes from the abdomen of the sheep, and it's used to kind of, it's around the stomach, kind of holds the stomach in place on the outside. So it's hard to get. You've got to kind of source it out. Uh, I think North Market Poultry and Game would have it as they have rabbit. But what we're going to do is we take that then, and then you want to wrap this up. This is going to hold our roulade together. Okay, so you get that rolled up, and you want to have a fairly decent amount of fat on the outside of the rabbit so that it holds together and it doesn't uncurl on you. And then there are one or two ways to go from here. You can either uh, go from here, you can either put it right in your pan, get it nice and brown, and then pop it in your oven at 350 degrees uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to do our carrots right here in this pan. We like to accompany this, accompany this dish with some, uh, some baby carrots or some spring carrots that we like to glaze with some local honey. Uh, use a little bit of the shallots um, and a little bit of brown sugar in there as well. So we get that going. It's kind of a little bit different thing. We like to use a little bit of uh, brown sugar with our honey, our water, a little Tabasco. And what we're going to use is we're going to use water in this as well. And the water is going to do two things. You know, the main thing we wanted to do is we want that to come down and as that water cooks it's going to soften up our carrots and get that reduced get that uh, get that glaze going on the carrots and use that that uh, that steam and that water to uh, to tenderize our uh, our carrots to get them nice and soft now the way we're going to do this tonight because we don't have the time to roast it we don't have the ovens is you can also do it this way and what you want to do is you can take your rabbit and you slice it into roulades just like that. You want to be about three quarters of an inch thick. And as you can see, you've got that nice stuffing in there. And you're going to do a little salt and a little pepper. And then you want to put that down in the pan and get that nice and brown. And the same thing you're going to do with this, you want to get that brown on one side, get it kind of heated through, then you're going to slide that in the oven and cook it until it's all the way done. And then, since you've saved your bones from your rabbit, you're going to make a little sauce right in the pan out of the, out of the drippings from this rabbit that we're cooking. And all we're going to do is we let that brown up. And we're going to add some shallots. and a little bit of butter. Normally you'd want to wait till this rabbit's out of the pan so you don't, uh, you don't get too much going on in there. But get that nice and brown on one side. And once it browns up, you would slide those right in the oven. Your carrots are gonna keep coming down.
And then to make your sauce, you want to have that nice rabbit stock you've got going on. And then you just add some rabbit stock to that. You want to let that reduce. And then that would come down, and we would hit a little Tabasco, a little salt and pepper. And then we would use that to, uh, to sauce our plate. A little fresh herb. We like to use a little thyme and a little chive. Always nice with rabbit. Make a rabbit stock just like you'd make a chicken stock. I usually make mine. Uh, we would take the bones from the leg, roast them off, and then the, the foreleg has a nice little bit of meat on it. We'd roast that off as well. And then the whole cage roasted off, a little white wine, a little mirepoix. Cook it for about uh, four or five hours. And you got a nice little stock and a little sauce. And that's kind of the way we do the rabbit at G. Michael's. It's a nice springtime dish. Rabbit always, to me, is a, is a nice flavor in the, uh, in the early spring. So, hope you all enjoy it. Great looking dish. And, and our miracle oven underneath, and we're going to show you, right here. through the miracle oven, what this looks like Looks when like that. done. That's the rabbit roulade. Doesn't this look delicious? And I'm going to take a bite of this in a minute while we give a big round of applause to Chef David Tetzloff of G. Michael's. That's on Ger in German Village in Columbus. David's a great chef. G. Michael's is a wonderful restaurant. Go see him. He's a fabulous chef.